So today we're off to go get some synthetic brushes because in the last video, I used some synthetic brushes that were brand new and they cost 25 quid and they was horrendous. So I'm gonna teach you what I know. And I know cheap brushes and I'm gonna show you all the different cheap brushes I've been using over the last few years. I'll we'll show you how good they are and only a couple of quid. So let's get to the shop, Jeff. One ninety nine, very reasonable. <laughs> you get fifteen brushes. Very reasonable. Ten piece paintbrush set and a fifteen brush paintbrush set. Very reasonable. So one shop down. And on to the next one. We've got some very reasonable deals here, but I think the next one we're going to get some even better deals. See you in a sec. One day, this all could be yours. What, a car park? Yep. <laughs> Dal and Rowley at the pound shop. Very reasonable. <laughs> So we're back from the shop and we've got a hell of a selection of synthetic brushes. The reason I'm doing this video is synthetic brushes tend to be hit and miss. And because of this, I thought, you know what I'll do is I'll buy some mid-priced synthetic brushes. These Raphael synthetics are 25 quid. And in all honesty, they fell to bits in that last video, as you saw. And because I don't actually have any decent brushes at work, I thought, you know what, let's go out Let's buy a load of synthetic brushes and let's play with them all and see if any of them are as good or better than these uh, because some of these are like a pound. Uh, we've got some for like two pounds and they look pretty decent in the packaging. So let's try them. I've, I've used these brushes for years and I have always used them. So I just want to show you that cheap brushes can be as good as expensive synthetic brushes. I mean, these could have been, these are obviously a bad set that I've got, uh, and this is no in no way a I hate Raphael or anything like that because the brushes are amazing. But the synthetics that I got last time, I spent the money hoping that they'd be better than cheap synthetics, and these wasn't. These were horrendous. Um, but anyway, let's crack on with the video. Now while Luke went for a bit of a sit down to recover from spending a whopping £18 on new brushes, I got all the models put together ready for him to test them out on. These models are from Asgard Rising and are actually part of an upcoming project where we're putting together a gaming table using some of their files. Make sure to stick around and subscribe for more on that later. Now I'm very excited that we've got some new brushes here in the unit because Luke has absolutely ruined all the brushes that we've got currently. So a common mistake most people do when they buy new brushes is they just go in there to use them straight away. Now this can cause like the treatment that they put on the bristles to break the bristles up. What you need to do is give it a good clean through before using it. And when that's really wet and supple and you get some paint on there, it just keeps it all together and the bristles work as they should. These Dial and Rolly brushes that I got from the pound shop are absolutely amazing. I've not actually used these brown synthetic brushes before, uh, but they're really soft, they're more like a real hair, unlike the gold Taclon, which are quite firm, they're more like an acrylic brush. These watercolour brushes are very, very good, and after doing all the base coats, this brush is becoming one of my favourite synthetic brushes that I own, and I definitely will be trying more from this model range. Now with synthetic brushes, we do use them very different to how we'd use as very best brushes. We're very rough with them, we base coat, we dry brush with detail brushes, I mean I stipple with them sometimes, because they literally cost from 25p, 50p a brush, and you can absolutely just destroy them. But if you look after them like any brush, you can get some decent length and time out of them. However, when I start a new project, I just tend to pick up, you know, £2.50, £3 worth of brushes, and I use them for that project. And if they keep a good belly and a good point on them, I'll keep them in a pot and use them as my best brushes till they fall apart. 
The gold Taclon wash brushes, we use these as dry brushes mainly, but synthetic brushes for washers are amazing because they don't hold the wash in the brush. It just sort of falls off the brush and goes onto the model. So when you're using your washers, your contrast paints and your speed paints, you don't get as much wash in your brush and it just goes on the model. Right, so base coats are down. These dowel and rollers that we got from the pound shop are absolutely amazing. The ones that I've never tried before and I'm actually really happy with are these uh, size one and size six rounds. They're actually watercolor brushes and they're really soft, um, and the bristles. I'm used to using synthetics, so which are more designed for like acrylics, so they're quite firm. Whereas these are like a really soft synthetic bristle and with them being for watercolors, I, I really like that. And these brushes say it's 50p for the pair, absolutely outstanding. And the points on them are nice and razor sharp, which I don't know how long that'll last, but if I could get, you know, 20, 30, 40 models out of them, amazing, 50p for two good brushes. The wash brush and the synthetic brush on the other one, they're not that bad. Um, the synthetic bristles need a bit of teasing every now and again, but still performing better than the ones that I paid a bit more money for, uh, which is uh, quite eye-opening. I'm gonna have a play with a really cheap set now, which were 199, very reasonable, uh, for 10 pieces. So we'll do all like the detailing and a bit of dry brushing with them and see how they turn out. Now, these brushes from the range are my favorite brushes because the 199, you get a range of dry brushes and you get some pretty decent detail brushes. Now, I use these for washing, I use these for dry brushing, and they do what I do best, and that's over brushing and dry brushing to get them higher details. They're very nice, soft, gold tacklon brushes. However, gold tacklon brushes for your detail brushes are rather firm and rather stiff. But I like this for when you're doing edge highlighting and layering and things, because you have a bit more brush control. And this is why synthetics are good for base coating and getting your base highlights down. You're less likely to make mistakes because of the firm bristle. And if you're going to be looking for firm bristle brush, you want to be looking more for acrylic brushes over watercolor brushes. But the one thing that I was very, very shocked about which I've never really noticed is how sharp the points are on these brushes, which made painting things like the eyes very easy. Get that. Perfect. I'm checking there. Yep. Check you out. It's because I've got brushes with points on. Now we are joking about this, but a lot of my brushes don't have points on because of how rough I am. And having these cheap brushes with the points on does make a massive difference. So using cheap brushes can be as a nice experience as using expensive brushes. Then watercolor brushes for me are something that I didn't know about, as in the brown synthetic bristles are really soft and I really like that. It's closer to what painting with a, a proper sable brush is like. And for 50p, each, it's an absolute bargain. I'm literally gonna to go to the pound shop tomorrow and raid that shelf. They're great. Um, for normal synthetics, the f I, there's nothing wrong with them. And I don't think anybody that paints with cheap synthetics has a problem with them. If you're batch painting and you've been rough with your models, just buy cheap brushes, use them. And as soon as they start falling to bits or breaking, throw them away or use them for basing brushes or dry brushing. When I was painting these models very quickly, I was being rough. I didn't mind if I got some paint up in the ferrule because they're so cheap. For the same price of buying five brushes, I bought an entire water pot full of brushes that will last an awful lot longer than them expensive brushes did. Synthetics is a, a weird beast. And whether you get a good set the first time you buy some, it you never know, it's hit and miss with brushes. So I'll only buy expensive brushes like the, the Squidmar uh, brushes for like when I'm really going in there at the end or if I'm spending my time painting something that I really want to spend my time with them. Buying IM brushes for doing competition painting, that's fine. But for army painting, when you're being rough, when you're dry brushing, when you're going from metallics to cheap synthetics are the future. I'll put all the links to all the cheap synthetics that I've bought. If there isn't any links or you can't buy them online, 
I will literally put to the information to where I've got them from. And I'll also put some links to where I've bought some off Amazon in the past and I've used them for quite a long time. Like I think the company called Keep Smiling, they're like uh, for face painting brushes. They're very, very good. Uh, they're very soft bristles and you get, I think it's like 15 brushes for 12 quid and they're good as well. Any ones that I'm happy with that I've used, I'll link below. And if you're in the market for some cheap synthetic synth in the market for some cheap synthetic brushes for painting armies and batch painting things, I'd suggest getting them because it doesn't matter if you destroy them or not. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Put in the comments below if you like using cheap synthetics or even if you're dead against them. Let's have a, a little convo with each other because cheap synthetics are great. And there's companies like Monument Hobbies and there's a couple of artist companies out there that do some good synthetics. And if you know any ones that I've not mentioned or shown in this, please put in the links below because I'm always open to try. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll, uh, I'll see you again for the next video. Love, love, love.